I did. Um, a lot of you may have seen this already on YouTube or Twitter. And even maybe Facebook. We're going to talk about Aubrey Cunningham, 11-year-old little girl who went missing Thursday. I know I'm like one Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday. Four days late in getting this info out. But I have my, my grandkids on the weekend, so I don't even come online if I can help it. I don't go online. Anyway, so we're going to talk about Aubrey Cunningham and how she got to this situation. And we're going to be looking at Google Maps around by the dam area and all that lot. And maybe even round by the uh, bridge, which crosses the river. See what time we got. Anyway, Aubrey is an 11 year old from Texas who went missing on Thursday. From what we understand, she was last seen at 7 a.m. Who by we don't know, because it wasn't by one of the neighbours, because the neighbours said they didn't see her Thursday morning. And they all saw her every day going to school. So she, she would stop and give their dog some love. And she said Thursday, they didn't see her. So we know it wasn't the neighbours who, who said it was 7 o'clock. So who told them the last time they saw Aubrey, it was 7 a.m.? That's a big question, because we'll go on to that point a bit later. Anyway, then it was said that um, a friend of the father's, was, who was living at the house, at the house, was taking her to school and took her to the bus stop where she would get the bus. But it came out that she never got on that bus. And I'm not sure if, if the father was informed or this other guy was informed about one o'clock in the afternoon that she hadn't come to school. I think it was the father, but the father works out on the ship on some fishing boats. Right? So, anyway. She didn't return home from school. So at five, five thirty, I believe, they reported it to the police. Police come out from everything set in motion. Amber alert is sent on, on. You know what I mean? And as soon as an amber alert, alert is put out in, in the USA, US, you literally get everyone called in, and they've had. I'll tell you who's who they've had. Accusers, accusers, or oh, I can't get the word out. They are brilliant. They are totally unpaid, right? So they rely on donations. But they have divers, they have the proper gear to go in through the woods and the bushes and the trees. You name it, they've got all the gear. They've got drones. I think they've even got a drone, I think I heard them talking about it, where she can go in the water and search under the water. But they've got divers, they've had um, other teams of divers there as well, because there's mass, if you look on Google Maps, there are quite a few masses of water, quite a few. They've had the FBI have been called in, Livingston Police, Volunteers and businesses. I don't know what businesses follow what they mean by businesses, but I know people have been donating food for these volunteers. Um, Texas Rangers have been there, are there searching. Everyone you can think of has been called in. Anyway, again, this is a case where it's a bit messed up with the parents. 
It reminds me of another case that we're just covering. Where we're at the court now on that one. It reminds me of Harmony Montgomery. Where the mother lost a child. The father, who was a career criminal, got the, got the daughter. And look what happened. Well, that's the case here. I'm not saying the father's a career criminal. I'm not. But it does associate with some unsavoury people, you might say. So, the mother lost custody of um, her, um, I'm going to say her, I'm getting, of Aubrey when she was about two or three. Right? And the father has been making it really hard for her to see her daughter. Really hard. She's now clean. She's in a, re a new re relationship. Don't know how long she's been in this relationship for, and I don't really care. It's not my business. However, she's been logging up all this paperwork so that she, when she goes back to court, she can go, This is what's happened. I've not been able to see my daughter. Anyway, on the Wednesday before she went missing, this one guy who lives at the home was looking after Aubrey because the father was at work. As I said, he works on the fishing boats or, what, or whatever he does. And he was messaging Aubrey's mother saying, Aubrey wants to see you. I'll arrange for it so that when I pick her up from school tomorrow, I'll bring her over to you. And there's all these text messages between the two. And the mother's going, look, I don't want to be set up for failure here because last time I met my daughter, just by accident, the young girl wasn't allowed out for over a month. Her father wouldn't let her out of the house. She could go to school, come home, and that was it. Right? Well, this guy called, and I'll tell you his name. His name is Don Stephen McDougal. 42 years old. Right? And I'm going to put a picture up of him. If I've got one, I'm going Oh, I don't think I've, I've got a, I've got a good one. Hold on. I'm going to show you this, this picture of me. Oh, no, don't have to do that, sorry. Don't have to do that. Yeah. I've got it on Twitter. This is him. All right, let's see if I can share the screen with you. Uh, yep. Oh, God, so, yeah. This is it. Nice fellow, isn't he? Yep, yep. Well, the father was leaving his daughter in his care. His mother lived on the property as well. Sounds a bit like another case we've been looking into. Anyway, he was looking after his daughter. And the father's name is Joshua, for some reason, the ex-wife or the mother of her, Aubrey, calls him Lucky. Don't know why. No? Anyway, so Joshua, the father, who had to go to work, left him to look after his daughter and to get her to school and to do all them things, right, until he got home, I don't know, the next day or whatever. Now, when he was messaging the mother about arranging to meet up with her so Aubrey could see her mum, he said, I'm taking her to school in the morning, well, to the bus stop. And then when she comes back, I'll bring her over. We'll meet up somewhere so we can meet. I'm serious. If I could get those messages, it don't, I, I can't get them text messages. I've got to go into Facebook, I think, and find the page they're on. But I'm serious here. He was trying to set the mother up here. I think he's trying to set her up so that when Aubrey went missing like she did, 
They could tell me, I said, well, you wasn't at home, where was you? You know what I mean? Sort of thing. I think he's trying to set the model up. Anyway, so... Um, um, this text messaging went on for a while. And... Um, I'm just going to put a picture up. Because I don't want to see his ugly mug on there. Well, there she is up in the corner. And this guy was looking after her, potentially. Well, on the Thursday, because she didn't come home from school, she reported missing. So the police would come out and they thought, look, this isn't right. Set it as Amber Alert. So all these other search teams come into action. Well, it then come out, hold on, this guy was then, I think he was arrested on the Saturday morning. And I'll show you, I'll show you a clip. I think it's on here. It's on Twitter, I'm sure it is. So mum filmed it. And it's just shortly after the filming, they arrested it. Here it is. Right, there's no sound to it. But that's the guy and the police are talking to him there. And shortly after that meeting, meeting up, they arrested him on unrelated uh, charges. Now, do you want to see something beautiful? Unrelated charges. This is a guy who was left to look after a little girl. And I can find it again. All right. I, uh, I might have to do it another way, actually. Um, you won't be able to see it. And I can't, I haven't worked out how to zoom in yet. So I'll do it this way. Um, Bear with me. Well, now, he's been had up on one. Right? I can't see myself. Uh, oh God. Enticing a child. Yep. Second charge. Another charge. Charge. Enticing a child. Hmm. And then there was a third and a fourth and a few more charges, but were dropped with time served, sort of thing. Now, this is the one well, of all these charges of enticing a child. Now, surely the father would know about that, surely. You know what I mean? The mother who was in talking to this guy, okay, only on text messaging, surely she knew about him. And if she did, why didn't she kick up hand? Hold on, my daughter's living at my the, her father's and he's got these strange, these weird men coming in and out. And all that, you know what I mean? So... Uh, it's a bit confusing. I can't understand it all why the mother didn't do more. She was too scared, maybe, in case she lost any chance of getting custody of her Aubrey. I don't know. But it's not nice. And he's had several charges now of enticing a child. It's not right at all. But... All right. And there's loads of people have put up things. Like someone said they you knew him from when they was a child. You know what I mean? They knew him and they knew he wasn't a good person then. Um, here, they're at a festival. 
there's the father and there's John you don't know who this guy is right notice Sam he's got another one on his other arm I believe or on his chest somewhere right so much oh yeah look at this this is what he said to the mother the night before in one of the text messages I'm your daughter's favorite person hmm really I'd like to hope to think that if my daughter ever come across anyone like that she'd go mum there's this weird weird guy you know what I mean or even if I had someone in my home and my kids didn't feel comfortable around them they just said something to me but I never did have I not to my knowledge did I have ever anyone in my home where they felt uncomfortable right and there's another one this is where the police were first talking to him before they actually arrested him on unrelated charges. I think it is a charge. I think he stabbed some guy last year. Right? But I think they just need him locked up so they can they know where he is so he's not going to do a runner. So... He looks a really nice guy, doesn't he, to have around your kids? Yeah, why? Christ, look at that picture of him. Look at his eyes. Look at them eyes, they were evil. What was it someone said? Oh, I can't remember that now, what someone said. Um, yes, there's a lot of um, people putting up on Twitter that Aubrey has been found unalived it has not been confirmed by the police so please do not take any notice of them unless the police like or is it the police from oh god the uh, livingston police department say anything or the fbi or someone like that say anything then don't believe it it has not been on YouTube or anywhere that she's been found. Believe me, I was up this morning and because of the time difference between the USA and the UK, I'm getting up as most of you, some of you in some states over there are going to be. Well, I was up a bit earlier than usual, I must admit. And I didn't see nothing come up and I've got a lot of uh, news reels on my Twitter account and nothing was coming up to say that she'd been found. But look at her. 11 years old and she doesn't even make it to school. I must admit, I used to worry about my kids when they went to school. But I knew if they didn't go to school, I'd get a phone call that morning. Not at one o'clock. That morning. If my son or daughter wasn't in school. I got down from when I, when I found him, but I never had that phone call. I was saying he looked so sweet there. Yeah. Right. This was done. When was this given out? The 17th. So this was Saturday. Was it Saturday? I can't remember now. Yeah. This was Saturday. This was an update, okay? But it's only a short one. It's only good. But there is another one. Look, see? He said himself, I dropped her off at the bus stop. Bus. It's been confirmed. She didn't get on the bus. There was parents there who used to see her every morning. Didn't see her at the bus stop. Why? But um, I'm going to just pull up the clip, the, what's, uh, this 
בסיסית. Now the last king. My mouse is all over. Come on. The last king, people in that area, which is the San Jacinto, San Jacinto County, or anywhere around there, to keep an eye out for this car. It's a um, 2003 Chevy Suburban. Now, they're not asking you to look for it. They're asking them any video. Like, you know how people are always videoing. They've got uh, car cameras, right? Car cams, yeah? Did anyone see this car parked up anywhere? Did they see it any, going a specific direction? That's what they want to know because they haven't got, they obviously haven't got a lot of um, cameras. Man, that way. Because if you look at Google Maps, which I will pull up in a minute, it is a lot of open land as well. There's a lot of open land. And it's, but they've been focusing around the river. Run. Because the river, yeah, I'm going to show you now. There is that. Right. Because that lovely guy, Don MacDougall, told the police that he went to the dam after dropping a Aubrey off at the bus stop. They've been looking around there, and I think they were looking around this river. Trinity River, is he? Hold on. Let's get rid of that. Let's see. It's, I think it's Trinity River, around Trinity River. Because they did find a bag. It's not, people are saying it's her bag, but I'm not sure. Because they're saying it was um, a camouflage backpack on the, on the bank by the uh, dam, around by the dam. Area, right? We could be round this way, round there, round there, right? So it'll do a bit. Oh, God, oh, come on, somewhere around here, or somewhere around there, right? Anyway, they said they found a camouflage backpack. <laughs> That they believed belonged to Aubrey. But parents were saying she didn't have a backpack. She had an, uh, like a waist bag, like I should imagine, over the shoulder, body, body bag sort of purse thing. And it was a um, Hello Kitty bag. So I don't know what. Did they find your bag? Had or not? So because of that, they've been looking at the search boats out there, they've had divers out there, everything out there. And I think they're focusing today on Trinity River, which, you know what I mean, this is the dam. Now, this is the dam area, in the, right, right, which goes right down here. Right down. There's a flipping miles. Right. But that's what I've heard today that apparently they're research resuming their search once they do it by Trinity River. And um it's but they said they had persons of interest. 
right? And that they had arrested one guy, which we all know was this guy, McDougal. And we said this. I was watching another YouTuber the other day. And I did go on YouTube, sorry. I think it was Friday night after my grandson went to bed. Just went on for a short while. And he was, they were saying about that dumb Google and his history. And they go, why on earth was he left in charge of a, a young girl? He shouldn't have been in that position. Right? If the father has to go to work, then that's fine. He's supporting his daughter. Fine. But get someone you can trust. You can't trust some guy like that. I'm sorry. Right? So, um, they was talking about him. And this was before they arrested him. I think this, oh no, it wouldn't have been Friday. Was it Friday? Thursday or Friday? I think it was Thursday. Sorry, Thursday. It had just been released that she'd been missing. And they're talking about the people who lived in the house. And that guy come up. And the YouTube is going, why would you leave your daughter with someone like that? So even from there, people had zoomed in on that dog straight away before it even got released by the police that he'd been arrested. People on YouTube were picking up on John straight away. So it's a weird. Anyway, I did say I'm going to put a picture of all of you. All right? Because I think people need to see this young girl. All right. There she is, 11 years old. I don't know how she's there, but she's 11 years old now, right? And that's the young girl who's gone missing. But like I said at the beginning, where did they get the, that, the time that she was last seen at 7 a.m.? Was it by that dog who said he took her to the bus stop? Because if so, you can't believe, I can't, well, I don't believe a word he said. Because, how do we know something didn't happen the night before? And that's why he was messaging the mother, who she said was quite late at night when these messages started coming through. Well, and that's why he was messaging the mother the night before to set her up for the Thursday. Because no, one's, no one else but those who lived at the house apparently saw that on Thursday morning. So if if it was confirmed by say the father, he last saw his daughter at 7 a.m. that morning, then I'd believe that. But there again, would I? I'd have to go right back to when the last time she was seen, right back to Wednesday when she come home from school. Was did anyone see her at school? Did she get the school bus home? You know, I mean, all that. We know she was in school because if she wasn't, the father would have got a message on the Wednesday. Right? But we need to know, I'd like to know, right? we don't need to know, we don't need to know anything. We'd like to know, or I'd like to know, the actual time she was last seen on the Wednesday. Because I think something went wrong on the Wednesday once she came home from school. Or during the night. Because why would that guy start texting her mother late at night? And she's with her partner, you know what I mean? And... She couldn't even get in touch with the father. The mother couldn't even get in touch with the father because he blocked her on every network. So her partner tried getting in touch with him to let him know about this dog and what he was up to. 
right? And that they didn't have good vibes with him. But they couldn't get in touch with anyone. And anyone who was found out to be, from what I heard, anyone, if the father found anyone in touch with the mother, he cut them off straight away. That's just what I've heard. It, they would get cut off straight away. So he was like alienating his daughter from anyone else of her family. So if anyone did get in touch, was in touch with the mother, they had to keep it secret. It couldn't be so, oh, I was talking to you, uh, the mother of Audrey, yesterday, because the father would cut him straight off. It had nothing to do with him. Now, to me, that's weird. Why are you trying to, why was he trying to isolate his daughter from everyone? From her own family, her mother, and her other grandparents, why? And even friends of the family, why would he isolate them? You, it, didn't, it didn't fit right with me. There's something not right there with the father, why would he do that? And then again, why do you have guys like this one? I like this one. This beautiful guy. I like him. I dropped her off at the bus stop. No, you didn't. Tell the truth. Why can't people just tell the truth? You're caught. They've got you. Just tell the truth. They might even go easier on you if you tell the truth. But if they have to work a lot harder and find it themselves, they're not going to go easy on you. But I also heard it was, uh, was it yesterday? Friday? They arrested him on this Friday, I believe. Friday. And I think it was Saturday or Sunday. They had him down, you know, where I said the bag was found. The found bag. He, they had, they brought him there because someone saw someone in one of them orange prison suits. I love the orange prison suits. I think they're fab. Best living they got on me. Anyway, so apparently someone said they saw some guy being brought down to the riverside. For what reason, we don't know. Right, that's all wrong. There's an update on Audrey. Let's see what's happening. Oh no, that's me. Ah. <laughs> Just clicked on my own link. Um. So now, um, I've got Twitter open and YouTube open for all the updates. So. But I wanted to show you the maps, right? Now, when I heard that he'd been to the dam after apparently dropping her off at the bus stop, I thought, hmm, how far is that like? How far is it? Right, now, I can get this map to work. This place you look well, I'm going to see if I'm going. Lakeside Drive, that's where she well. So she lived on Lakeside. That's Lake Shore, isn't it? I want that. Lakeside. I've got Lakeside up. Anyway, she lived around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. That's it. That's like side drive. Now she lived down here. And we're going to take little walkies. Go little walkies, okay? And this is the top of the road. Right? And it looks quite nice down there. Right? I'm going to take a nice little walk, wander down the road. Because I noticed some of it straight away. And I was thinking, how nice these houses are. 
and the right by the river. Right? Now you just look at these houses. Right? Quite cute. But there's some really nice ones. As you get further down, you know what I mean? Look at this. See what I mean? You've got some really nice houses. Right. So, and all the way down here, you can see what it's like down here. And they're really nice, and I'm thinking, wow. Look at that one, I like that one. I like the balcony on it all. I like all that. Right. And this is one, and it's right by the river. See the river? Yep, one. Uh, pick a look at them. I like my type. I like doing my type. And then we come to this bit here. Now you've got to cut off like so. The road goes a bit rough again. But you've still got some fairly nice houses along there, you know what I mean? Right? And that's it really, you can't get any further. Not on Google Maps. Well, I don't think so, not on Lakeside Drawings. I don't know if we can go up here. Right. And what's that she's? And I said, I'm going to go back now. Because I'm going to, I've done this today, and it, on here it says, I'm never sure when I see these times. When I see that there, I'm never sure if that means from the starting point to there, it's 10 minutes. Or from there to wherever I'm going, is 10 minutes. But even so, it was only about 11 minutes, 11, 12 minutes drive the first time. So I went all the way along there. Hold on, I'll give my little man up here. Come on, little man, that's it. Right, so I went all the way along this road, and when I get to the next click point, I'll click on it, yeah. Right, and I went all the way down here, but you cannot get down to the bottom. I'll show you, I'll click on it, it will not let you go. Tell you why, because round about here, I'm going to go there, but I'm going to go there. That's that one. That's one. Oh God, where am I going? Now I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way, just help this one. Alright, I've got to go. Keep going. Um. Because you get down, go down here, you see the little man going. I thought, well, if you went to the camp and I Googled it, and this is what they told me. But, what have we got here? We've got a fence, a gate, and a guardhouse, right? So obviously no unauthorised cars are going to get in there. Right? I don't know if you could probably, probably drop a car off, pull a car up here and go down to the river. I don't think so. It looks like there's a fence all the way down. And then you're on private lab property. Right? Looks like you're on private property. Look 
because there's that house there. So you can't take the chance of parking a car up, then either carrying a buggy across that much land, or even driving the car over that way, because you're going to be seen. Someone's going to see you. So, quite okay. Let's go back up here. Where am I going? I like my time, but it's annoying. I think this is the way. No, wrong way. Right, so I thought, okay, we'll go down this road. Right? You can get right so far down here, but you still can't get right onto the reservoir. Can't get that. Right. You can get so far down. But look at the open land and the trees. So much open land. And would anyone really be ready to spot a car? You know what I mean? Is this a busy area for workers? But once again, you can't get any further. Look, fencing. Fencing. All the way along. Fencing. Yeah. All right, so you can't get onto here. But then, as I'm coming back up, I noticed this. What this area here? And I think it's like a drainage thing for an overflow system. Now, I'd hope to think that the Texas Rangers or Livingston Police or Ecu Search or some someone would have been searching all this because. Um, it's little tunnels. See? Which go left hand. There we are again. See? So you've got that bit here, a tunnel, which the water flows through, obviously. And then you've got it again up here. I only noticed it as I was coming back out. But hold on, then my drain thing, drain holes or whatever they call them. Right? Again, there. And it comes out. Here somewhere. But there wasn't a, oh yeah, it is. There's the other one. There. And it goes under that bit of road there. Comes out there. Now I should hope to God some search teams are being a search door then. I hope to God they have. Because that'd be so easy. If you want to get me to something. Get put down there, and unless I look down there, you're not, they're not going to find it, are they? So, I should imagine over the amount of searches and everything. But then again, we're looking at a big area, right? I'm going to come out of this. Mm. Oh, come on. We're looking at a big area. So have they even got round to there yet? But if they've been looking around by the dam, on the water edges round there, I should imagine, I'd hope to think they have, being a search them tools. 
But then again, as I said, there's so much. Open land and bushes. What I mean? All this land here. And if you live around there, you know all the little shortcuts to certain places, wouldn't you? You know all the little side roads how to get to the... Uh, I, I can't even say how I'll get to the dam, because I don't live there. But there's a main road there, and that takes you over Trinity River. Right? And I believe one woman was filming from one, one of these, either this side, or somewhere over here the other day which was interesting to see and you know I can't remember her name now what was her name? I can't think oh I can't think of her name but she did a video, she was doing a live, and she was filming the boats going along the river, around here, or here. Either here, this side, or this side. As I said, Trinity River is a big river. And then you've got all these little bursts of water, right? Right, let's see. I can get in close to some of these waters. And we've got, you've got all these, they like, all need searching. You can't think, oh, well, it's only a little time. You don't, yes, you can. They need to be searched, every one of these. Some of them you can probably walk up to and go, too shallow, I can see the bottom from here. You know what I mean? I can see the middle of the river, it's too shallow. Fair enough. But oh, come on, you've got... Well, you've got this lot here, then you've got this river here. If he's in a car, he can get to these places in no time. He's had a whole day, even at an evening. If something went wrong the night before, when she's come home from school and something's gone wrong, he's had all evening and all the next day to hide his track. You know what I mean? You've got all these rivers. See, look. You know what I mean? You've got big areas of water. And then, to top it off, you've got this. This. All this. As I said, if something went wrong on the Wednesday, right? This is just my opinion. Because it's only, we've only got his word to say that she left school for seven He took her to school, to the bus stop at seven o'clock in the morning. In his opinion, his word is worth nothing in my eyes at the moment. So we've only got his word that he took her to the bus stop. We don't know what he's told the police, if he's told the police anything else, because the police are being very tightly, which I can understand. I can understand the police being very tightly they don't want this going out 
and the other guys getting out there which could ruin their case. You know what I mean? So like, say there's someone else involved. They don't want that getting out there because that person then could do a runner if he hasn't or they haven't already done so, if that is the case. We don't know. But there was just so... It was just this morning when I was going through Google search and I was just Googling my way down there from the house to there. Because this is... Um, so, I'll, hold on, let me get back to where I am. No, I'm going to have to go. Where is it? Yeah, I've got to go there. Get my little man there. Oh, come on. Get my little man. Oh, I think I've got that. I think I've got that. Come on. Come on. All right. See if it get here. That's why I'll be facing. Is that the top of the road? I don't know. Right, we'll go this way. I think this is the way out. <laughs> All right. Fuck <coughs> me. Yeah. Now I'm going to turn around here. Now, as I said, when I went down there the first time, something stuck out to me like a sore thumb. It's like a flipping sore thumb. It really stuck out at me. Because I was thinking, how nice all these houses were. And I thought, oh, well, I'm living by a lake like that in these houses like this, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, it was as I was going down, and I remembered seeing another photo <coughs> by someone else, another YouTuber, but I don't, again, I don't know who the name was, I should take more note, but because it wasn't someone I know, like, if it had been someone I'd watch on a regular basis, I'd say, oh, it's such and such, but it was someone I hadn't watched, I think he was Carrie Moody, I'm not sure. Anyway, I was going down here, and I thought, all oh, these houses are really nice. Look at them, they're really nice, aren't they? <coughs> right? <coughs> okay, what's that one? Right, it's that one. It's going to look nice there. I'm going to come out a bit more, Angie. <coughs> I think it's having to get around this corner. We'll see it. Some else about the year in the USA, you don't have pathways, do you? We have our paths. <coughs> <coughs> Come on, Rosie. They think it was this far down. I wonder if you think it was this far again. Ah, oh, God, no, I won't jump on the wrong, I'll turn the wrong way. Come on, there. 
I've gone past the road and gone down another road. I've taken the wrong way. I've left something like this. Oh. There's that way that I go. So I'm following my little man as well. He's keeping me on track here. Oh, let's see if we can get there a bit quicker. Oh, we're nearly there. Nearly there. Oh, it's just because I've seen a picture on someone else's that I realised where I was. No. It's still nice thing, dear. Yeah. Come on. No. I can't find it now. Oh, I'm a flipping house now. Is that very exciting? Anyway, I was going along the road and then it just when I clicked, I thought, oh, that must be the house I'm leaving because I've seen it on another YouTube channel. I don't always believe everything I see. It's like I don't believe nothing the papers tell me. I don't. They could put in big headlines. World War Three. I go, yeah, okay, right, okay. Carry on. I don't believe a word they say. Unless I see it from my own eyes, like when I see the bombs dropping, then I think, okay, you're right. But I don't believe anything the papers say. So... Trying to get to. Oh, I wasn't right. I'm sure it's just. No. I'm sure it's just along the way. That's like sure. God, don't you get yourself into the right? Like, sorry, I won't. But I'm going to go back on this because this is so going on now. Right, like, sorry, drive. Right. That's like, sure. Why is that there? Like sure, like sure. Why are you thinking that? Oh. I think I'm a bit earlier, so. Like side, like side. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's turn this one.
like salt. You know, like salt. I don't think it's that far, but it's just trying to do something. I can't find the house now. Come on, but you can't miss it because it's got a caravan or camper van by it. You know what I mean? <coughs> oh, God. Here it is, knew it. This is like living, you know what I mean? This day is like side. Now, I've seen that photo on another YouTube channel. And that's what I thought, oh, that's what I saw earlier. <coughs> now, this was in 2022, 2023, May 2023. So I don't know who that, if they if those living there then or what right but that's the case that was where she was living when she went missing on thursday so she'd been walking up this way to get her bus i don't know where she'd get the bus it's not that far of a walk really right because you're then on like a main is what I'd class as a main road. You know what I mean? Go up that way. You go around that way. So that's what I class this here as a main road. Right, but I don't know I know I don't know how the bus where the buses drop you off or pick you up. I don't know if they drop them off at the corner of the road. All right, so you've only got to walk that way or look at that way or down this way. You know, I don't know. But apparently, that dog said he took her to the bus stop. But there's parents at the bus stop and the bus driver, school bus driver, said she did not get on that bus. She wasn't on the bus. And I could imagine she had a friend because a friend said the first place they need to look is a field opposite or at the back of her house. Well, at the back of the house is a river, a lake, right? But over the road is some open or fields. <coughs> <coughs> so, so check there because uh, she always used to tell her friend how she used to like to go there to see the wild animals because you, you see all sorts of animals apparently right and she loved being around animals i can see her point there animals are a lot nicer than humans some of them some of the humans are not so I don't know what school she went to, so I can't even... I've tried to find out what school she went to, so we could maybe try and Google it that way and see how far from the house to the school it was. Right? But it's such a shame, this beautiful young girl. And again, she's got parents... Well, she's got a father who's going out to work, Okay, good on you. Right? A mother who lost custody of her at the age of two or three because she's a uh, DRUGS dependent. She's now clean. Don't know how long she's been clean for. I'll find that out. And he's been trying to get her daughter back. But she's just been trying to build up as much evidence, get all the paperwork together 
so that when she takes them back to court, she can say, Bump, here's the information. This is what's been happening. It's because they appoint nurse. That's why in them text messages between her and that John, she's like, she was up, it sounded like she was up for meeting up with him, but then a bit dubious about it. Is this a setup? You know what I mean? And she was right to be a bit cautious about him. Because look what happened on the Thursday when she was supposed to meet up with her daughter. She went missing. So it's a shame. And it's just annoys me when you've got parents like this who associate with pair, people like this. People like this. Right? Now, hold on, I want to find out the mother. Oh, that's my time, isn't it? Oh, my God. I think the interview's on here somewhere as well. I'm not sure. Oh. But don't believe any of this lot, unless you hear it off the police, Polk County Police or wherever, don't believe it. Yeah. Yeah, really. I don't think any little girl, you'd be any little girl's favourite person, mate. Oh, yeah? Is this it? No. No. Too short. Too short. Let's go to YouTube again. I'll be on YouTube. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. No, it's not there. Oh, I'll have to punch it in. Because I'm spelling her name wrong, maybe. I spell it with two eyes, don't I? Uh, uh, that's a good thing, two times now. Uh, let's just pull this one up. What's this one about?
This will be a character. This one was a character. Man, M I N G S, a spokesperson with Texas Department of Public Safety. And um, today we're here to provide updates on uh, the search for Law Audrey yeah. Cunningham, the 11 year old who went missing on, on Thursday. I'm here joined by the Polk County District Attorney Shelly Sitton, as well as members of the uh, uh, Polk County Sheriff's Office, Lieutenant Greg Craig Finnegan. Uh, um, and I also want to make the mention that we have countless investigators and analysts that are out here assisting as well in multiple locations throughout the county and throughout the area looking for Audrey. Sheriff Lyons uh, was not able to be here this afternoon, but I want to reiterate he is actively engaged uh, in marshalling the resources that are needed to bring Audrey home. Um, he did ask me to thank all of the volunteers who have been so helpful during this, all the businesses that have been just nothing but exceptional. Um, the dive teams, you know, it's cold out here. Um, all the investigators, Texas Rangers. So the FBI has victim specialists who have been with the family. Um, also want to thank the district attorney's office and EquiSearch as well, who is out here. Um, I can say last night that investigators searched several locations throughout the area looking for Audrey. Unfortunately, they did not find her. That's the reason why the search continues this morning. Um, this investigation is very fluid. Um, however, I can say that... They like that word, don't they? Very fluid. Does that mean there's a lot of uh, information still coming in? That we ended up identifying a backpack yesterday at the dam that is consistent with that belonging to a child. Um, and so we are going through those contents right now um, to evaluate what's in that. Um, and yeah. okay. Okay. I mentioned yesterday, we have persons of interest. Right. They mentioned the backpack. It doesn't say whether it's uh, Aubrey's or not. It just said it was a child's backpack. Uh, today, I want to announce that we have one main per purpose, one main person that we are uh, looking at right now as a person of interest, and, and that is uh, Don Stephen McDougal, uh, 42, of Livingston. Um, he was arrested yesterday for an unrelated aggravated assault charge. Um, and in furtherance of this investigation, we're asking for the public to call the Polk County Sheriff's Office or use our iWatch Texas app to report seeing the 2003 Chevrolet Suburban that we put out on X this morning. Um, we That is Google's vehicle. So it, well, I saw that vehicle on Thursday or Friday. Oh. Uh, we're asking that you call the Polk County Sheriff's Office, use the iWatch Texas app, and report what you saw to investigators. Um, I also want to announce that we are very thankful for the Polk County Crime Stoppers for offering a $7,000 reward for tips leading to the arrest and crime. $7,000 reward. And that's quite a lot of money. I'm sure there's someone out there who knows something, who's seen that truck of these somewhere. You know what I mean? But then again, people may have seen the truck as they're going away somewhere. Perhaps they've been going away somewhere on the Thursday. You know what I mean? You don't know. People do do that. They go away midweek, don't they? Especially if they haven't got work. Oh, we'll go away for a few days. They might have seen it and not heard about this case yet until they get home. Prosecution of the person responsible for Audrey's disappearance. Um, and these tips can be anonymous. I also want to say that 
we are hopeful that we can bring Audrey home alive, and that's what we are absolutely working for right now. But based on the evidence that we've got, we understand that foul play is is a factor as well. So with that, I open it up for questions. Uh, that's part of the ongoing investigation right now. Our investigators remain absolutely committed to finding Audrey. Um, and so I don't want to get into those investigative efforts, uh, but they're absolutely ongoing. Um, I'm not sure where it was found. Um, our investigators are looking through that now, uh, but we do know it was right down there in the dam and it was wet. Um, so where we did the press conference yesterday, the bag was found down there uh, by the river there. We're not giving out additional information on that right now. Um, again, we are uh, looking at this um, as a criminal investigation. Not coming from there myself. It be nice if they actually said it was on this side of the uh, dam, like this part of the river, the big part, or was it on the smaller part, the thinner part of the river where the bag was found? Because I've Google mapped it and you cannot get down to the dam. It's all fenced up. You can't get down there. So it's got to be up a little bit from the dam area itself. It's got to be. Well, I think there's a bridge. From what I've seen, there's a bridge when I've seen the clip of them collecting the evidence. So they start by a bridge, and the only bridge I know is the one that goes across that river that I showed you, which was, I don't know. which was this one. Right, which was. Because you can only get so far down there and then it's all gated off. It's all gated off round here. Right? And you can only get so far down this road, you can't get any further. So the only other road is here. By a match where the bridge is. I should imagine is a bridge. Right? Let's have a look and see what it is. You know what I mean? So. And if this red frame ran by here, then that could be thrown out of a car window or anything really to get rid of. Because I've tried Google Maps and it's not getting me anywhere near the river, the dam area. Which I can understand that as well. Because if terrorists got near the dam, cross, could you imagine the damage on that big river? Can you imagine if that dam went all this would go? So that's the only thing I can think of it is down here somewhere. When they say by the dam. The brothers gone down on foot and found it. But I seen it by a bridge. As I said, I saw it when it showed you of them collecting the evidence and putting like there's like three or four of them around this evidence, this bag or item. And it was by the cam the person who was filming it was by a bridge. At the top end of the bridge. So and this is the only bridge I know that crosses it. And this is that. That ain't it. This is the only bridge I know. 
you know what I mean? And it looks very... Oh, I can't see if I can get up now. So it was from a bridge end and they'd obviously zoomed in and seen them wherever they were. And I'm sure it was from this bridge that woman was filming the other day when they had the boats in the water. Because the boats kept going up and down under this bridge, under a bridge. And she was standing at the top watching them. Uh, she said she was on this side. Uh, uh, uh. She's watching them. No, Andrew, come back. come back. She could have been, I just said she was like somewhere around here on this grassy back. Looking over there, watching the boats going in and out of there, or vice versa, being on the other side, looking over at this side with the boats going in and out of the water. I know when she was standing on the grass of back, she'd be either this side looking over or this side looking over because the bridge was to her right hand side. You could tell by the camera angle, the bridge was from the, at the right hand side of her. So if this was the bridge, then I'd say the bag was found round here. Because that's why they started searching this this water. But apparently that's where they're gonna start again today in that river. So it's a shame. Now if they have got the guy and he do it why he knows something. He either do it himself. Right? She could have been over here. No, not that side. Oh, no. She could have been over here, on the bank over here, because I know she was looking. Mm. I hate this. No, don't need this guy. I know she. The bridge. Like when she was filming, it, you could see the bridge was on the right hand side. So she's either down here on this embankment here filming it live, or she's at that. Right, right. She's over this side somewhere filming it. It's not me. It's not me. Oh. Um, it's hard to say, but um, I know she was by a bridge, and the bridge was to the right hand side. So if that was the case, she had to be either this side or this side. And she was filming some of the boats, search boats here or there. So, so that would make more sense if the bag was found round here rather than up here because no one's going to get up there unless you go up there by foot but then again possible i don't know but as i said i will keep an eye on this and keep out for the alerts and if i get any more alerts i'll let you know but let's see what we just got to say to find anything anything else.
this was just from the other day when I was searching. See, now look, on that's uh, the grand, the grandmother, and that's him, and that's Aubrey. I don't know who these are. Right? And they're all going to Florida. Now, come on, it's some sick individual. We've got a fairly young girl there, and a very young girl there. So... So she goes on about the backpack. Now, I don't know because people who know Aubrey, who saw her at the bus stop going to school every day, said she used to have um, a little kitty bag. It's like a, a hip, the woman said it was like a hip bag, but I, I think it's like a crossover body bag. But it's a lot of hello and a low kitty side bag. Unless she had a new bag brought her. Huh? Oh. Let's see. This is the um is this one of the grandparents anyway. Deal with this. This is a tragic incident. I realize that everybody's talking a bunch of stuff on on Facebook and stuff like that. I ask if you don't know anything, don't say anything. All you're doing is hurting the family. It makes no sense. You don't, you don't know what they're going through. You don't know the circumstances. I do know Audrey is loved. I know Audrey is cared for. And I know Audrey lo loved the, her grandmother, her father, her brother, and family. I'm asking everybody to stop the BS. I'm sorry for the language. The BS on Facebook and all the garbage talk on Facebook. If you don't know the circumstances. Leave it alone. Audrey was well loved. And everything like that. Audrey was well taken care of. Audrey has missed. We want her home. This right here is for Audrey. Again, please, if you can talk some crap on Facebook, please. Just let me know. I agree with him there. They need to stop all this. Because I'll tell you something. I, 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 I was watching YouTube a long time because I was following this other case. Right, it's a two and a half year old cold case, and it's one case I will not cover unless, and on only this, only unless someone is charged or her body is found and someone is charged. Because the the BS that is coming out now from people coming out the woodwork and saying, "Oh, they've seen, they've seen her, they've seen her here, they've seen her there," it's BS. And then you got YouTubers, YouTubers arguing and having a slanging match against each other just because one believes in. Um, because you've got certain people who are all for this little girl who want to, her to be found, even though it's two and a half years, coming to three years, cold case now. And you've got people who are all Don and Candice. Now, Don and Candice was the parents, are the parents of this little girl. But they don't care. They don't want her found. So you've got pair YouTubers out there who do want her found. We want to bring her home because wherever she is, it can't be good. Can't be good, right? So you got all these people be beating at each other, right? And we, oh my god! 
right? And then this another young boy went missing just a month later. And the the hassle and the BS his parents are receiving off some people on YouTube. It's unbelievable. And then it just makes me sick when I hear it all going on. It does. It just gets me so... I literally turn it off. I literally turn it off now because I can't take no more of the BS from a lot of the YouTubers. Not all of them. Some are really, really good. Right? And some are, can be a bit bitchy. And some of them I just love because they make me laugh. They can be bitchy, but they make me laugh. Right? It's, it's the way they say it and the way they do it. Right? So, and I don't want this going like that. I don't want this little girl going like that. Because of the parents. You know what I mean? You've got two separate parents here, the mother and the father. And you've got the father's family not getting on maybe not getting on with the mother's side and the mother's family and things like that i don't want all that bitchiness to come out it's not about them it's not about the parents they are going through hell as it is right they've lost a little girl they're trying to find their little girl right put all that aside and work together and everyone else work together instead of fighting against each other all right so anyway so then i'm going to see some else but i can't find it now can't find it let's see if i can find it for you out from livingston they have been trying to find 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham for three days. Today, prayers were offered as the community held a vigil for the missing child. Fox 26's Jade Fleury is live in Livingston this evening with the latest. Jade. The Department of Public Safety says that they've been receiving tips all throughout the night and today, but they don't have any new information to share with the public just yet. A prayer vigil was held at the VFW post in Polk County for the missing 11-year-old. We want Audrey home. It's been a difficult few days since 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham went missing last week. The Livingston community and her family still searching for answers. Livingston, on Alaska, Polk County as a whole, we're a tight neck group. It's something like this doesn't happen here. That's something you expect out of the city. A beacon of hope shown at a prayer vigil Sunday afternoon. Members of the community gathering at the VFW Polk County Memorial Post, hoping for Audrey to be reunited with her loved ones. We're hoping for a safe and speedy return. It would be nice if we could get this young girl home safe and well. It would be brilliant if we could get her home safe and well. Of Audrey. Ray Epps is the senior vice commander for the veterans of foreign wars post 8568. She was a sparkling, vivacious young lady. He says Audrey often enjoyed spending time at the post. She'd come up, help him, and she'd say, I want to go dance. So she'd go out and learn how to dance. You know, that's the type of personality she lit up everyone's lives in a message to the community a close friend of audrey's family called for an end to online rumors and speculation surrounding her disappearance i'm gonna ask this i agree they've got to stop these stupid online rumors i have to just point it out on twitter there are several right loads on here there's one you know what i mean it's, I don't know what that one is. Uh, anyway, I did read that, but it's got nothing to do with speculation.
How could you be in on Alaska fishing when he was told she was when he was supposed to be looking after her? Look, how could he be in on Alaska fishing when I was told she was missing? I could really give a S what your opinion is. I'm doing everything I can to help. Now, how could he have been doing that when he was supposed to be taking her to school, well, to the bus stop, and then picking her up from school to apparently go and meet the mother? Hmm. But he's off fishing. No. Right. I'm trying to find a video of that mother where she did the interview and uh, I'll find it now. Oh, but you didn't drop her off at the bus stop, did you? You know, this is the one I was telling you about where she was at the river watching him go up and down the boat. Um, oh, I'm setting it up now. It was on Facebook, I believe. That is the, the bridge I, I, yes. This is the bridge I told you about. Now, this is by Grizzly Hugs, Hugs News. I'll put a link in the bio. I will put it down so that I don't forget. Her link will be in the bio. So if anyone wants to follow her, please do. They are uh, launching boats into the Trinity River. I'm standing here on 59 North, right over the Trinity River. Ecu Search is out here. The Texas Ecu Search. Uh, there, there goes one boat. Hey, good morning, goodies, peeps. I really appreciate everybody checking up on me. Uh, I did have a few dizzy spells this morning, but that's like I get those a lot. I just had to wait it out a little bit, and now I feel good. I'm in my capacity again. Thanks for checking up on me. Uh, yeah, friends, please uh, avoid messaging me because I'm getting slammed with a lot of messages, and I'm just here to tell you guys, search continues. Search continues for Audrey Cunningham, 11-year-old girl missing from Livingston, Texas. So I was on the right bridge there. Where I was telling you about echo search and whatever, how those going up and down in the boat. So I was on the right bridge there. So what's this one? This is Fox News. Let's see this tap. I oh, know, I've seen this. Um I haven't, I think I have new news. I haven't got any new news. This is the two hours ago. Three and the police are asking for your help to find 11 year old Audrey Cunningham. Here are three things we know about her disappearance right now. First, Audrey was last seen on Thursday morning when she was dropped off at the bus stop before school, but she never made it onto the bus. Investigators also think that this blue, dark 2003 Chevy Suburban is involved in her disappearance. And that car belongs to this man, 42-year-old Don Stephen McDougall, who was identified as a person of interest. He was arrested on Friday for an unrelated charge. Joining us now is Arugochi Loka live in Livingston Forest this morning with the latest on these developments. Ugochi, what have you learned about McDougall? 
Seth, we know that McDougal right now is in jail for an unrelated aggravated assault charge, not linked to Audrey Cunningham's case. But I got to tell you, just about 15 minutes ago, we got the latest new update from the Polk County Sheriff's Office. And they tell us that this part of Trinity River boat ramp off of Highway 59 will be blocked off to the public so it will be closed as soon as search crews get back out here and continue their search for the 11 year old now back to mcdougall take a look this is video that k211 got of a cell phone video of mcdougall driving so that video i was showing you of the boats in the river that part of the bridge will be blocked off that part of the road is being blocked off away in his vehicle Friday before his arrest. Even though he's not a suspect in Audrey's disappearance, investigators say he is a person of interest. Now, records show McDougal was convicted of enticing a minor with intent out of Brazoria County in 2007. This morning, we know authorities found a child's wet backpack near Lake Livingston Dam Friday, about five miles from Audrey's home. Now, Polk County uh, Crime Stoppers, they do say they are offering a $7,000 reward really to anyone that has information that can lead to the arrest and conviction in Audrey's disappearance case. Hopefully it doesn't come to that and it leads to them actually finding her in one piece. Reporting live in Livingston, Ugochi Iloka, KHOU, 11 News. B3 and Ryan. Um... This was 30, this one's 38 minutes ago. Uh, an Amber Alert remains in effect. It has been four days since Audrey Cunningham was reported missing. The 11-year-old little girl from Livingston was supposed to go to school on Thursday morning, but never got on the bus. Since Friday, law enforcement agencies, volunteers have searched both land and water for Audrey. But Still no sign of her. Reporter Rochelle Turner is following this story very closely and joins us live from the Polk County Sheriff's Office. Rochelle. Good morning. There's still a lot of questions about little Audrey's disappearance. And while the Texas Department of Public Safety has not provided us an update as of this morning, we're still going to be pushing for answers from law enforcement officers and seeing where they're going to have that next search later this morning. On Sunday, Audrey's family, friends, and community came together for a prayer service, hoping that she is found safe. This is a new drone video, which shows search crews using boats down river of the Lake Livingston Dam. A KPRC2 viewer shared this video of 42-year-old Don Stephen McDougall. It shows Livingston police officers apparently questioning McDougal on Friday morning outside of stores in downtown Livingston. He's in jail on a separate charge and is currently the lone person of interest. He has a lengthy criminal record, including felony convictions for crimes against children. While there are no signs about where Audrey may be, her family is hopeful and asking for prayers. And I know Audrey loves Love the, her grandmother, her father, her brother, and family. We want Audrey home, but everybody gives them some kind of privacy and let them deal with this. This is a tragic incident. So, still a lot of questions this morning. Investigators did find. I'll tell you something that annoys me is like when anyone, when a child goes missing, right? The first thing parents do, or whatever, they speak to these online news supporters, right, who know they're going to go on YouTube and things like that, but then asking for help, right? They're all over them. They want their help. But you watch. The, grand the friend or grandfather has just already said it. Give them their privacy. Uh, the other day, they're screaming for our help. And now you're telling us to give them their space, to give them their privacy? Come on, you can't do that. I understand you don't want cameras in your face 24 7, but you can't tell us, oh, well, we want you one minute then. Oh, sorry, no, we don't need you now. We don't want you. You can't do that. That isn't on. That isn't fair. 
fine. So anyway, let's carry on. A child's backpack during the search, but they have not said if it belonged to little Audrey. Now we're going to continue to stay out here and push for answers about where they're going to have their next search at. Now, if you do know anything about where Audrey may be or anything that could help investigators with this case, you're asked to give the Polk County Sheriff's Office a call. They are offering a $7,000 reward. Reporting live in Polk County, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Right. Uh, what's the other one? So that's the latest so far. B3 and right now police right. are asking for your help to find. Right. I can't see anything else. Only this one, but that was like the other day, 11 hours ago. And it just says search resumed on Monday. So we know the search in the river. So, I hope to God she's found alive, but the longer it goes. But then again, you've heard of cases where children have been missing for weeks, months, years, and then they get found. So, it's hard to say what you, what what the circumstances could be, what the outcome could be. We don't know. But the parents need to get on track with both parents need to get on side with each other. And stop this tittle tattling as well. And they need to stand there and say, look, this is our daughter. We are trying to find our daughter. We need your help. To get her face out there, to get her information out there. We need your help and stand together as a mother and a father. Not one mother giving interview and a father giving interview. I don't I haven't seen an interview by the father yet. I don't know why. But that is prerogative if we want to be given an interview or not. It's not for us to judge. But I'm just gonna see if there's anything else. And good evening to you. I'm Tom Ziska. We're glad to have you with us. Uh, that was 16 hours ago, so you know, don't need that one. Uh, I'm going to see this one. No, nope, see that one. Uh, and it has been nearly 24 hours since anyone has seen a. I'm trying to find the one where the mother keeps driving into you. You know what I mean? But I can't find it. I had it earlier, you know, and I can't find it now. Um, our system for all is good and crime lines and lies that good um, I am there's nothing else new coming through. So, but as I said, when I went through the maps and we seen, I was showing you them walk to, I don't know what they're called. If someone could tell me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Right, but I know they use for like if there's excess water to let them go down there. So, I should hope they've searched all them. But the land is, South is just look at this. So, you know what I mean? I'm gone. Look at all this land here that needs to be searched. Mm 
You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. And that's just that one way. And you've got all this lot here. Going the other way. You've got West Livington. Living, Livington. Livingston. As you can imagine, this is East over this side. As you can imagine, that's East Livingston. You know what I mean? If he had the car, he could have took her anywhere. And as I said, we don't know really when she was last seen. We only know what he's told the police and that he's gone. Right? Because he was the one who took her to the bus stop. So he's the last one to see her. So he's the one who said, the last time he saw her, was at 7 o'clock. And as far as I'm concerned, unless he tells us where the body is or who involved, then I don't believe a word that comes out of his mouth. I think something happened the night, the night before. Because it's a bit weird that he was texting her mother late that night about arranging to get Aubrey after he's going to take her to the bus stop and then he's going to pick her up after school and bring it to meet the mother. It, that is a total setup. Is setting her up there, and I'm glad she clicked onto that and didn't turn up. I'm glad she didn't go because that was a setup. So, how do we know something didn't happen from when she got home from school Wednesday? We don't. All we've got is his word saying he took her to the bus stop on Thursday morning. No, now seeing her, unless they can get the last sighting of her on Wednesday. So hopefully someone would have seen her coming home from school on the bus, getting off the school bus, walking to the house, whatever. There's got to be someone seeing her get off the bus. Well, the bus driver would have seen her and her friend would have seen her getting off the bus. And possibly other parents waiting for their children would have seen her getting off the bus on the Wednesday. So I think it's just my opinion. I'm allowed to have an opinion that something happened on the Wednesday evening. So if that was the case, he's he's had all Wednesday evening, all the way through till Thursday afternoon five thirty when the police were found because she didn't come out from school. But that one. Thing that I read on here. All right, that being, I've actually, actually got them on my Twitter now. I'm following them. I tell you something. Your policing of things are more open. All right. Oh, right. There's a jam. And that's the bridge. Let's, what, let's listen to this. So this is the dam and the lake that is behind where they were searching, authorities were searching today for missing 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham in this area. And you can actually see right there law enforcement vehicles. They had search dogs out in these woods and divers out here. But this is how the leak looks like. Look how big that dam is. And this leak is also a river. It goes for many miles. It's quite large. Look at all of this land that needs to be covered. I've been saying that, haven't I? I said there's a lot of land that needs to be covered, not just by the river, inland as well. Right, anywhere where we could maybe carry a, a distance 
นี่จะเป่าใจ This is a large body of water. I was not aware of this because from back in the woods, it's hard to see what's back here. Look at the This dam, large amounts of water being pushed into this. And look at the current. It's kind of hard to see, here, but there is a big current over there. Right, so let's go up here. Right now, this is the lake that I just showed you. Right. I think y e a that's the river. Sorry, that's the river. The lake. There's a dam. Sorry. There's a dam. So where's the bridge? Is it see? Let's have a look. No. t r y i n g to find that beach now. That shows you the. I'm going to pass that way. But she was on a bridge that was quite close to the dam. Because you could see the dam. So, let's go back to there. I don't know. It's, it's oh yeah. Well, listen to this. This is the m o v e And breaking tonight, we are hearing from the mother of a missing 11 y e a r o l d girl in Polk County. Audrey Cunningham vanished on the way to school Thursday morning. It triggered an Amber Alert and a major search involving local, state, and federal authorities. No case that I dated again. She went missing on the way to school. We only have the word of that man, John, that he took her to the bus stop. We only have his word. But no one at the bus stop saw her. No one at the mother saw her. The bus driver didn't see her get on. So what happened? Right. So we only have his word that he took her to the bus stop. I think something happened earlier, like the night before, the evening before. Authorities spent the day looking in an area around Lake Livingston, up in Polk County. Matt Doherty is live tonight at the Polk County Sheriff's Office. Matt, what do we know right now? Well, let me. Authorities will resume their search first thing tomorrow morning. It was halted earlier tonight. Once it got dark, however, this is still a very active investigation. David, this is the stuff that you see on TV, and you wonder. Uh, you can only imagine what uh, the the family and the parents are going through, and um, there's there's not words for it. Through tears, Cassie Matthews, the mother of 11 y e a r o l d Audrey, pleaded for help finding her missing daughter tonight. She was allegedly uh, dropped off um, at her bus stop, and later on. Uh, We come to learn that she never even made it on the bus. Just hours before investigators were playing things close to the vest, letting on that they know more than they're willing to tell the public right now. And I can understand the public's concern um, that we're not giving out a lot of information, um, but the end here is to find Audrey uh, and bring her home. They haven't. At least you give out more information than what, than what our police give us. Our police in the UK give us t h o g all. So we're left to. I don't know. Imagine what could have happened. 
and then we get told you shouldn't be doing that because well give us some information you don't have to give us the details you don't have to give us any any information that is going to explode on the case you know what i mean you don't need that but we don't get nothing said if they found any sort of evidence in the area they spent searching friday night near lake livingston and despite the rumors in this small town they won't say if there is a suspect connected to the girl's disappearance audrey's mother says her daughter was living with her father who has custody as well as her grandmother and another man family members tell us that other man would drive audrey to the bus stop each morning before school no one at the family's home would speak with us tonight meanwhile Cassie Matthews says she's devastated. You feel it's a roller coaster. You're you're broken. You're you're mad. You uh, you're lost. You're empty. And right now, I I am empty. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be the same unless my baby is returned to me. And neither neither is her family. Anyone in her family. Any of us. Authorities say that they are speaking to persons of interest tonight. If you have any information on persons, you mean one person, I mean, I mean, one person. Audrey's disappearance, you're asked to give them a call right away. Back to you. Oh. Right. So it's one person they are talking to because it's just so weird if, if evil ever come back again in life he's evil that's evil you can just look at his eyes you know what i mean so i've got you to know let's see what we have here what's this i don't know this is Twitter, isn't it? Yeah. I can't, I can't find that bridge on the map. I'll have to have a look again. And if I find that bridge on the map, then we, I'll take it there. <coughs> I can't find it. You know what I mean? Because the dam's down here. And she was on a bridge round there because she could see the dam. But as I said, this is, I think how old this map now is. Perhaps I built a bridge over? I don't know. But you could, she could see the dam from that bridge, so it's got to be around there somewhere. Let's see. See, none of the roads go to the... Only this here, yeah, but then it stopped. You can't get... I'm sorry, I don't think. No. No, no. Won't let my little man go on that road. So I don't know. I don't know where the bridge is. The only bridge I know, I can find is this one here. But she was showing you the dam, the water running through from the dam. And you wouldn't you surely wouldn't see it from there. Because she was a lot closer than that. I don't know where that other bridge was. Let's have a look. There's a bridge around there. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say because there's so much water, so much places of water and they all need to be searched every one of them 
even if it's a little stream, because if her body was put in this lake, right, yeah, it's not tidal, I don't know if it's tidal, is it tidal? I don't know. I'll get close for miles. So I don't even know if it's tidal. Not me, it goes right down here. Is it tidal? I don't even want to know if it's tidal. I don't think it is. I really don't know it isn't. No. So it's it's not tidal. So it's not as if water's gonna push it down this way and then something and then bring it back up, you know what I mean? And then tide come in and bring it back up. So once the body goes in, it'll just keep floating unless it gets caught up somewhere down. And as I said, unless it gets caught up somewhere. And a body can start, when the body first goes in the water, uh, it, can, it all depends on how long it takes to sink. But then it's not until... The bacteria in the body comes up and makes it, floats you up. The bacteria in your body bloats, floats up and it brings you to the top again where you'll float down. There's nothing to push that. The only thing that pushes the body down is the water they have coming in from that lock, the dam. I can't get where that bridge is because this is really annoying me. It's the only bridge I can see. Is that one? There's got to be more bridges because look. You're telling me if you lived over here and you wanted to get there, you've got to go all the way around. There's got to be more bridges. Uh, anyway, getting off the subject. Right, so if anyone knows where there's any more bridges, I can only see this one here. But I would say there's got to be more, because you're not going to be living, like, say, here, and you want to get to, say, there. And think, oh God, I've got to go all the way up here, across here, over there, and then down some little roads, maybe, down this road, and then along this road. You know what I mean? You're going round in a big circle, aren't you? You could just park your car up there and park a fair car and wait to each other across the river. Right. Yeah. It's hard to say how far a body will go. Just trying to say, I'm going to in a place. I don't know if it's a fast running river. I really don't. But where does, like, if it's not going out to the ocean, right? Don't go out to the ocean. Where does all that water go? Because it's got to stop somewhere, hasn't it? Right, there's a bridge here by Franklin. You know what I mean? It's got to stop somewhere. I should just go out to the ocean. And it looks like another bridge here. By liberty, but that's miles away.
is it? Yeah, it does. It does. So it could be tidal. But because of how long it is, how, how long this river is, it'll take days for to wash the water up and back down again. Literally days. For that water to come in from that other part, to come all the way up here, to then to come, then you've got the tidal taking it back out again. It'll take days. Just to get from one little spot. But I can't find the only bridge I can find is this one here. But it was showing every bridge is like a, like a dual carriageway sort of bridge. You know what I mean? But I don't know where that is. Uh, as I said, the three two seven eight put across Trinity River. But that's where they're focusing the search in that way today when they start up again on Trinity River. So they'll have the boats out again, maybe divers out there. It's hard to say what they'll have. But look at all this land here. This has all got to be searched. If they're searching the river, they need to search this as well. Right, and this here. All up here. All up here needs to be searched. So much land. So, so much land needs to be searched. So, I, I'd like to think, FQ search can only do so much. And now I'll stay there for as long as I need it. But they called up the search and say, weeks time, I'll be going, no way. No way have you searched all that land. You mean, say, a five-mile distance. A five-mile distance is quite an area. You've got your map and you go, from the circle point to say where she was last seen, which was here, up here. Right, and did a five mile circle. It's a big area still to search. Because in that five mile circle, we'll cover all this water. You know what I mean? Okay. We know, unless you put in that side of the lake, which I can't see that because that's like, um, I don't even know if that goes out to the sea. No, it doesn't. So she'd soon be found in that, well, I say soon, like a uh, dam. Damn places where the water's kept from damn at dam for quite deep, aren't they? Oh, from Alaska. Isn't that where he said that he was um, fishing? When she went missing on Alaska? I think it was. So you dropped her off at the bus stop on a Thursday morning and then went fishing. Yeah, good one. Liar, because you told the police you've been to the dam on the day after you dropped her off at the bus stop. Oh, so, it okay, I can see where he's coming. He's going to say, I dropped her off at the bus stop, went to the dam, and then decided to go to fishing up to on Alaska. And then I'll get home for whatever time in the evening. No, no, you're not going to have long fishing by the time you've done all that and then drove up there. You're not going to have long fishing. And unless you've got witnesses who can say, people who don't actually know you, but have seen you up there on that day, 
They say, yes, I saw this gentleman here on Thursday. <clears throat> then I don't believe him. And isn't it funny, you know, on Alaska? Hmm. On Alaska. Oh. Let's have a look first before I go anywhere. So, if he's saying you, he went to the dam and then you went fishing, apparently by that, he told the police he went to the dam and then he's telling people on his Twitter cat post he went fishing at, on Alaska. Right. Oh, I've got to go the other way. I'm going the right way. Yes, I'm going the right way. So if he went to Alaska. Uh, he, could have got, he could have had a bug in the car. He could get... Oh, my Lord. It's just my by saying that on that uh, uh, post that he was fishing, he's just widened the area. Hold on, hold on a second, get down here. Come on, I'm going to keep doing this because it's going to take me hours. Oh, right, let's have a look. Here's a bridge. What have you got? No, it's okay. It's a beach book. Yeah. Yeah. As I said, there's all this that needs to be searched now. That's what I'm trying to find out of the bridge that I saw. The cars were going. All right, there we are. We're coming to that other bridge and that thing at the beach. Right. Now let's have a look. Oh my lord. Look at this. If you went to on Alaska, she could be anywhere. You know what I mean? Could be absolutely anywhere. And I thought, that's just widened it up so much. So really then, they need to start searching all this here. Oh, that was a little bit of a okay. We need to search all this. So do we know we didn't just go there to the dam, throw um, the bag out the window, right? And it's like, um, and then took her up here somewhere. We don't do it. Or even over here. If we come across that bridge, we go over there. Or even come around this way. Go up there. Oh my lord. Such a big area needs to be searched. All this, so uh, at least. 
All this water needs searching. You know what I mean? Even up to here, okay. He's in a car, he could come right up here. He said you went to on Alaska on that. Uh, where was he? Is it on here? See how close, uh, yeah. See how close from that bridge she was to there. And the archives in your bridge on Google Maps, there. Something wrong with Google Maps. That's true. Where is the father? Take responsibility. You effed up. Yep. Oh God! I just want to confirm that he said on Alaska. We'll come back to that. I'm going to find where we said you went fishing to on Alaska. <whistles> so I can get chat wasn't it? Where does the Someone said to me, to me, I was fishing in on Alaska. Oh, so imagine now. So well, that's the car they're asking people to just, just say, look, have you got check your cam, car cams, door cameras, did it go past you, if you've got a door camera, can you see pulled up over anywhere. Oh, come on. So annoying. You know, when you find that person and you can't find it, then they can. That's that post. That's wrong. That's paying me off. I'm never seeing it on Twitter. The Twitter is full of all, all of it. All of it. Oh no. You cannot find it. Where is it? Oh, that is so annoying. So, so annoying. Anyway, I'm going to have to leave it there. I can always come back and do another live. But tomorrow, we're back on the um, trial of Adam Montgomery. I missed Friday's one because, like I said, I have my grandkids. And if I'm on you, if I go, do go on live, it's when they're in bed. 
and then he's on the floor for about 10 15 minutes before I get the same calling me. So I'm not there online much when I've got the children with me. So tomorrow we're back on, I think it's day nine of the Harmony Montgomery case of where the father had been charged with second degree murder. I guess that it can be second, well I know that it can be second degree murder, but I think if you hit a child with your fist, you, you're looking for a lot more than second degree murder, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Right, let's take that down. Um, let's put this picture up. That can be nicer. And we'll, I'll see you out. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching.